friends, Tux here. For this particular video, we're going to be taking a look at Pokemon 20 number 494, Victini, probably the cutest Pokemon ever, okay? But more on that in one second. Before I open this up, I want to talk just a little bit about all the great Pokemons that have came out this year. It's just been a fantastic year to be a Pokemon collector. And with Pokemon 20 out, we still have a few more months left this year in 2016 to get even more and catch the final three, okay? So right now, um, there's a couple left. My favorite of course is Meloetta, which is the December Pokemon 20. And I cannot wait for that Pokemon. Now for collectors, if you missed a few, Toys R Us have been doing some restocks. So it's very possible you might actually be able to get some of these older ones in Toys R Us right now at normal retail pricing. Now, of course, you can find probably any of these on Amazon for like jacked up prices, like double or triple retail. And, you know, you could do that if it's that one piece of the puzzle you need to complete your collection, but I'd recommend not doing it. Don't support scalpers. Buy them in retail if you can, you know. Um, a few of the harder ones to get right now, uh, Dark Rye is pretty hard because that was a exclusive to toy, uh, to GameStop, rather. And so was the Mew. Uh, Mew is very hard to get a hold of, and that was a exclusive as well. Now, I've been told, actually, after the GameStop uh, conference they just had, that they are going to have some exclusives at the end of the year. And even though they're not Pokemon 20 exclusives, they are going to be exclusive to, uh, to, to GameStop. I keep wanting to say Toys R Us. <laughs> and Toys R Us may have some other things, too. But I know for a fact... GameStop have two exclusives, one in November and one in December. I'm not quite sure what Pokemon they are, and I'm also not sure if they're going to be sporting this like glossy, shiny look that these Pokemon 20s have or not. But anyway, for collectors, you know, it probably won't even matter. It's just the type of thing you got to catch them, you know? So anyway, real exciting. I think my favorite so far for the year is it's tough, you know? Um, I would have to say, I mean, Mew is definitely a favorite. Um, I mean, God, I just, I really do love them all. I think that they're all really nice. Uh, there's no one particular one that really stands out for me, uh, of course, except for Meloetta coming up later this year, which, again, I'm really biased. It's one of my very favorite Pokemon, you know? And then if they had... Um, God, I mean, there's a few older Pokemon. With Pokemon Go out there, I know it's tricky because a lot of people really want to have these older plushies, you know? So you, it's hard to really base it upon that. But anyway, this month is a fantastic Pokemon. There's still time to get it. Victini! And I think what happened with this is they... They just came through and they're like, okay, you know, Pikachu here has been out for a while. Everyone loves Pikachu, you know, but we need something that is like a little updated, you know, maybe even a little cuter, if you will, if that's humanly possible than Pikachu. And this is where the creators of Pokemon dreamed up Victini here, which just is really nice. Now the packaging continues in these like Pokemon 20, like kind of like suitcase or comforter bags, which is nice. I do like that. But again, please Pokemon, if you watch this in some weird way, like do something about this. They all get squished they need like a wire frame or something to keep it square you know but i really do like the clear packaging it's really nice and this has gotten a little squished here <laughs> in the meantime so i have to try and unsquish this but um very cool packaging really nice gives it like a little touch of class you know and um on the back here it talks a little bit about victini according to myth Victini can bring victory in any kind of competition because it creates unlimited energy that can share and overflow with others. So really cool. Um, I'd, I definitely would say, as I said in the past, that Victini and Pikachu would be a really nice pair if you're doing some kind of doubles battle or something. And I, I can't wait for Victini to be part of Pokemon Go. That would be awesome. I can't wait for Gen 2. And I know Victini is not Gen 2, but um, I just, I'm looking forward to more Pokemons. So let's go ahead and open this up here and see what this is all about. It unzips real nice, just like you'd suspect and there's one thing kind of funny about Victini oh I need to try and uh try and gracefully cut it out of here they do have a lot of these little twist tie thingies um they're well they're like plastic ties really kind of holding Victini in place as you can see right here so we'll go ahead and very carefully cut Victini out of his little cardboard box and get those ears don't want to cut my fingers there we go one more to go there we go Okay, so we got Victini out of his little cardboard box, and you can see, absolutely adorable. Oh my god, such a cute Pokemon. They did such a great job on this. I mean, Pikachu is very cute, as you know. We all agree Pikachu is super cute, but Victini, there's something really special about him, and maybe it's little detail touches, like the larger blue eyes, or maybe it's the little fangs. There's a whole thing in Japan, uh, in like Asian culture, about little fangs, like imperfections in teeth is considered cute. And like oftentimes they'll have like one done or both done. And it's really great. They actually incorporate that into the plushie of Victini because they think it's so adorable. And um, I have to agree. It, it's super cute here. There's no doubting it. Um, other cool touches in this 
this little plushie. Uh, Victine's got like this cool little ribbed part in his back here, which is really cool. They went to the effort of actually having some weird like diagonal stitching done, which is really cool. We have a little furry patch here on the back, which is really nice. His little wings here, I guess I'm guessing these are wings. <laughs> have this, check out this stitching here. It's like a little swirly stitch. Do you see that? That is a really cool detail touch, like a little loop-de-loop -loop kind of. Really cool. And just such a cute little plush. And of course, it is sporting the reflective uh, Pokemon 20 material, which is really nice. They're all quite reflective. Now, the one thing that strikes me weird about this particular Pokemon is the ears to me look a little bit too pillow-like, a little too fluffy. And of course, it's so adorable. I'm going to forgive it. And I love this thing to death. But let me know if you think I'm wrong. Maybe maybe I am. I need to look at some artwork and take a look and see if the ears should be a little thinner. I think I, I have another plush um, a long time ago that was a little bit more narrow in the ears, like a little more pointy and less like pillow like and fluffy. So let me know if you have any feelings about that. And also let me know, I'm curious what you think so far, the favorite, what's your favorite Pokemon 20? What's the cutest of them all? I think Darkrai is really cool, but I have to give it Victini. I mean, Victini is so super duper cute. So anyway, guys, <laughs> thank you very much for watching this video. We're at about 4,900 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. Um, I wanna thank all you guys for subbing. It really means a lot to me, your comments and your subs. So thank you very much. And also, if you're new to the channel, be sure and subscribe, guys. We do lots of giveaways including Pokemon 20 stuff that we give away in giveaways. And my next giveaway will be featuring some Pokemon stuff too. So stay tuned to that, but know that in this very video, you can go ahead and subscribe and say, enter me. And then you get a name in the hat for a chance to win some really cool stuff, including some doubles, some new toys. You just don't know, but I'll have a video coming up with the dates, the prizes and everything, uh, just a little bit down the road, okay? So anyway, guys, be sure and check out Tux Toys on Instagram and Twitter. Be sure and check out Tux Reviews, my alt channel, which is also on Instagram and Twitter for some cool behind the scenes slice of life photos and things you won't see anywhere else. And also be sure and check out Gamer Tux, my gaming channel, okay? All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And again, we'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye, friends.